grammar point we take here is the compound verbs. The compound verbs are the types of verbs that are formed by adding a modifier or a modifying verb to the main verb. For example, sona, to sleep, is a simple verb and the compound form is sojana. The compound verbs give a sense of completion of the action. That's why they are usually used in the past tense, but you can also find them in all tenses. Let's take some examples. Sona, sleep, is a simple verb, as I mentioned. The compound form is sojana, fall asleep. Pina, drink, is the simple form. Pijana, drink up, is the compound form. As I mentioned, it gives additional nuance of completion of the main verb, the basic verb. Utna, rise, stand up. Ujjana, to get up completely. Samajna, to understand. Samajana, grasp, realize. Bhulna, forget. Bhuljana, to forget completely. Let's now learn how compound verbs are formed. A compound verb is the combination of two verbs, verb 1 and verb 2. We can call it like that. The verb 1 takes the root of the verb and the verb 2 is the modifier that dictates the grammar. The verb 1 carries the basic meaning and the verb 2 adds the nuance of completion of the action and the verb 2 also dictates the grammar such as tense, gender, number, person, etc. The both verbs together give the sense of completion of the action expressed by the verb 1. So here in this case, sona is the verb and the compound form is sojana, which means fall asleep. Let's take the compound verb sojana, fall asleep in all tenses and moods, which we have learned so far. Here we will try to understand the meaning and the usage of the compound verbs. Present imperfective or present habitual tense, main 10 baje so jata hoon. I fall asleep at 10. Present perfective, wo so gaya hai, he has fallen asleep. Past imperfective or past habitual tense, chutiyo mein mein das baje hi so jata tha. I used to fall asleep at 10 on vacations. Past perfective, kal mein 8 baje hi so gaya tha. Yesterday, I had fallen asleep at 10. Simple perfective, wo so gaya, he fell asleep. Future tense, aaj mein jaldi so jaunga. Today, I'll go to bed early. Literally, I'll fall asleep early. Imperative, so jao, sleep, fall asleep. Keep in mind that there is no continuous tense with compound verbs. There is no maso ja raha tha. Since compound verbs express completion of the action, they are incapable of expressing a continuous action. Let's take some example sentences. Aakhir kar tum uth gaye. Finally, you woke up. Main aapki baat samaj gaya. I understood your words. I grasped what you said. Tum ye kitab phir bhul jaoge. You will again forget all about this book. Main bimar ho gaya, I got sick, I became sick. Look at the last sentence, main bimar ho gaya, I got sick. The compound form of the verb hona is ho jana, which means to get or to become. Bimar ho jana, to get sick, to become sick. The verb ho jana is very common in Hindi and you would hear a lot in Hindi the form ho gaya. Main bimar ho gaya, I felt sick. Kaam ho gaya, the work is done. Ho gaya, is it done? Wo khush ho gaya, he became very happy. Jana is one of the three main modifying verbs, that means the verb to. The other two are Lena and Dena. Jana mainly goes with intransitive verbs and Lena and Dena with transitive verbs. Lena is used if the action is done for the benefit of, of the doer and the Dena is used if the action is done for the benefit of someone else. Karna, do, kar lena, to complete, to do completely. Khana, to eat, kha lena, eat up. Rakhna, put, rak dena, put down. Dalna, Pour, dal dena, pour down. Let's take some example sentences with compound verbs lena and dena. Usne saman apni almari mein rakh liya. She put things in her closet. Usne saman meri almari mein rakh diya. She put things in my closet. So here you can see that rakh liya is for the benefit of the doer. That's why it is liya. And the next one is for the benefit of someone else. That's why it is diya. Let's take another pair of examples. Ram ne chai pyale mein dal li. Ram poured himself a cup of tea. Ram ne sunita ke liye chai pyale mein dal di. Ram poured sunita a cup of tea. In the first sentence, you can see that the action is done for the benefit of the doer. In this case, Ram. Ram did it for himself. And in the next one, it is for the benefit of someone else other than the doer. Ram did it for sunita, not for himself. That's why it is dena. The modifier is dena. Let's take one more pair of examples. Usne sangeet ke bina hi ga liya. He sang even without music. 
ही वॉन्ट यू टू सिंग सो मच कृपया हमारे लिए एक गीत गा दो प्लीज सिंग एस अ सॉन्ग द फर्स्ट वन इज सिंगिंग फॉर वन सेल्फ दैट्स वाई इट इज लेना एंड द सेकेंड वन इज सिंगिंग फॉर अदर्स दैट्स वाई इट इज लेना दीज आर वेरी माइन्यूट न्यूंसेस even if you are not very precise with lena and dena it will not create a big confusion the main idea will always be conveyed apart from the modifiers jana lena and dena there's another common modifier chukna the modifying verb chukna always comes in the past tense it always takes the form chuka chuke chuki depending on the number and gender and it is translated into english with the adverb already let's take some example sentences mai kha chuka hu i have already eaten hum wo film dekh chuke the we had already seen the film there's one more thing to keep in mind about the compound verb that in the perfective tenses both verbs the main and the modifier should be transitive for the subject to take the postposition nay for example maine puri kitab pad li hai i have read the whole book here in this sentence you can see that both verbs verb 1 and verb 2 the basic verb and the modifying verb are transitive that's why the subject takes the postposition ne maine puri kitab pad li hai i have read the whole book the second example wo pani ki puri botal pee gaya he drank up the full bottle of water here in this second sentence the main verb is transitive but the modifier is intransitive that's why ne construction will not be used the subject will not take the postposition ne वो पानी की पूरी बोतल पी गया ही ड्रैंक अप द फुल बॉटल ऑफ वॉटर वन मोर एग्जाम्पल वो लड़का घर से भाग गया दैट बॉय रन अवे फ्रॉम होम हेयर बोथ वर्ब्स आर इन ट्रांसिटिव सो दर इज नो क्वेश्चन ऑफ पोस्ट पोजिशन आफ्टर द सब्जेक्ट लेट्स री कैप द कंपाउंड वर्ब्स द कंपाउंड वर्ब्स इज अ टाइप ऑफ टू पार्ट वर्ब इन हिंदी दैट कंसिस्ट ऑफ अ मेन वर्ब विच कैरीज द मीनिंग एंड द मॉडिफाइंग वर्ब विच कैरीज द इन्फॉर्मेशन अबाउट द पर्सन टेंस मूड जेंडर एटसेट्रा it also gives the nuance of completion the main verb is in the form of verb stem so from sona and the second modifying verb is the one you have to conjugate so jana is an example of such compound verb the compound verbs as i mentioned usually add a sense of completion of the action expressed in the sentence mm -hmm.